Hopefully y'all can see me. It's backwards for me, so I need to look over here. There we go. Hey Thomas, hopefully this doesn't sound like a VHS tape. Oh, now I can. Sorry guys, apparently I'm gonna have a bunch of technical difficulties today. I've got two computers and my phone open, maybe that's why. See the comments over here, so. We still good? Jeez, Phoebe's bone is so loud. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, now I can see comments. Okay. I see David H and Thomas R. Oh, y'all are saying much better. Maybe. Hey, Richie. Okay. Are we good? Is this better? Hi, Tommy. Can y'all still see Phoebe? I'm good. As long as I don't move it, it works. I'm good, Scott. How are you? Just, you know, having some technical problems. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right, Phoebe. So loud. That's just going to be in the background. Hi, Amy. Happy early birthday. There's a bunch of birthdays this week. All right, guys, we can go ahead and get started. <laughs> Ooh, my stomach's already growling. That's not good. Hi, KDC. Sorry, if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm looking at the comments. I don't know why they're not. I can't. There we go. My Memorial Day was good. I... Stayed inside because it was all rainy and I watched a bunch of TV, so that was fun. Hopefully y'all had a good long weekend. It is Taco Tuesday, Tim. I keep thinking it's Monday, but it's not. Hey, Shira. Hi, Jackie. Oh, is he Amy? Awesome. All right. So we're really just going to talk about one of these, but I do have to mention that today is National Redhead Day. So I'm kind of an honorary redhead. I got some red in there. But if you have red hair, it's your day. I really know what that means. I know sometimes they have a big old parade. A bunch of redheads. We can now see if he's still. I got a back up. Oh. Okay. You love red hair? Yep. I got a little bit of red. It's weird. Y'all can see more of me than I can on my phone. So, whatever. What's too loud, Billy? Ooh, that sounds good, Lauren. Phoebe's bone is too loud? I can make her stop. Hey, Phoebe. Stop at this for a minute. 
Now she's sad, but she can have it later. Oh, oh. she just went and got it off the table. No, ma'am. Uh, she doesn't listen. Okay, do you want to help me? No. You're right, Ariel does have red hair. That's why she's the best. Come here. Now she's all kissing up. She's going to look for it back there. Okay. So beside. <laughs> okay. Besides Redhead Day. <clears throat> today is also. Oh yeah. Andy does have red hair. You're right. But it's also National Paper Airplane Day. So who likes to make paper airplanes? Because I used to do this all the time when I was little. Phoebe's got opinions. <laughs> She's gonna run. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Phoebe, pick one. <laughs> pick one. Come here. Oh my god. Okay, I give up. She's trying to play with me. You see her? All right. Paper airplanes. Yeah, brave. She does have carrot head. <laughs> Chucky, yep. Doesn't Ch your Chucky have red hair too, Tim? Your favorite Chucky? Okay. I feel weird because I'm looking over here, but I should be looking over here. Okay. James, you have red hair? I can't even remember what you guys look like. It's sad. <laughs> I'm gonna stop touching things because it's freaking out. Okay. Paper airplanes. So, May 26th each year, National Paper Airplane Day commemorates the simple <clears throat> aeronautical toy, that's a big word, that has been around for thousands of years. Flying paper airplanes is an expensive, healthy, and stimulating form of entertainment. This thing says, so put down your smartphone and go outside for some primitive fun, even if only for a few hours of the day. Okay, you have to have too many things open right now. Okay. The use of paper airplanes is to, is believed to have originated 2,000 years ago in China. The earliest known date of the creation of modern paper airplanes was said to have been 1909. That's a long time ago. Okay. Um, so don't worry, I made a paper airplane. It's gonna be backwards, but it says Lauren Air because I made up my own airline. I don't think it's gonna fly very far though. Let's see if I can make it to Phoebe. Nope. Hey, don't eat. Don't eat it. <laughs> I'll try again. Phoebe really wants to eat this, so it's probably gonna happen. I just wanna make it on the bed. Anybody got any trips for making paper airplanes? For some reason, I'm not seeing any comments, so if y'all are commenting, I can't see it. Okay, well, I give up. <laughs> You're right, Amber, but you know what? I bet that'll be rescheduled because that's important. Phoebe is now eating my paper airplane, so. Cool. All right, did you know the largest paper aircraft had a wingspan of 59.74 feet? Students and employees made it in Germany in September of 2013. That's crazy. <laughs> That's like 60. Mm. Hey, Rebecca. We're talking about paper airplanes. That's a really big 
paper airplane. So the distance record um, of 20 or er, 226 feet was set by Joe Ayu with a plane in February 2012. He made his flight almost 300 feet and I can't get mine to fly like three feet. So there's got to be better ways to make paper airplanes. The record time for longest lasting paper airplane flight is 29.2 seconds, almost 30 seconds. Phoebe, leave my airplane alone. Phoebe is on a roll today. Okay. It says there's more than one way to fold a paper for test flight. Find tips and designs at foldandfly.com. So. Maybe I need to go there. This is the website. Hey, JP. What's up, man? Let's see. Fold in fly. That's the website that tells you how to make a paper airplane better than the one I just made. <laughs> so, let's see. You could watch flights on YouTube also. That's a good idea. Get some tips. Okay. You're bad at pit. <laughs> Me too, Richie, clearly. Mine didn't go very far. I think you're supposed to use smaller, pap smaller paper because if they're smaller, they go faster. I don't know. I think I just made that up. Okay. So this is supposed to be a quiz, but we're just gonna talk about it. So the force, the four forces that influence the flight of paper airplane are thrust, lift, gravity, and drag. So when you throw a plane forward, this is called thrust. So this part. Phoebe. God, she's eating everything. Lift is a force that acts on the wings and help, helps the plane move up. Big wings increase lift. So that's the part that keeps it going, lift. So gravity is the force that pulls the plane down. The right material can create a lighter aircraft that stays up for longer. So you don't want heavier paper because then it gravity comes in. And then drag is caused by the tail of the plane and is the opposite of thrust and it makes the plane slow down. So you throw it and then it starts going down probably bottom first, right? Because that's drag. Paper airplane contests compete for the top place in distance and time to float. They are cool, Nathan. Y'all should make some over there. I feel like St. Nick's would be good at making paper airplanes. Probably better than me. Okay, let's see. Yep, Sherry, you're right. It's no big deal. It's just in December now. It'll be more fun in December when we can all be together anyway. Give her back her phone. I will after this video. Don't worry. She was being too loud. Okay. Paper is for books and reading. You know what, you can use like recycled stuff like newspaper is easy, stuff like that. Maybe old magazines that you're done reading you can make paper airplanes out of. That might be too heavy, but maybe y'all could all try different kinds of paper and then let me know which one works best so that I can make a better airplane. I don't know what that means, Tim. Okay. Yeah, y'all don't wanna have to wear masks at Community Ball, so that's why we moved it. Totally would ruin your look. Phoebe says the same. She doesn't wanna wear a mask either. Okay. She does not wanna be held today. Come here. All right, 
Are y'all ready for celebrity birthdays? You're right, Cheryl. We might. Just gotta play it day by day. Bring it on. Okay. Who knows who John Wayne is? John Wayne, or was. He is not alive anymore, but John Wayne. Hey, Connor. I thought like you'd be good at paper airplanes too, Connor. Yeah, y'all know who that is? A Western actor. You're right, Thomas. He was in a lot of like old black and white movies. Katie, I feel like you guess country singer for every person. <laughs> he probably could have been a country singer. Famous actors of Western movies. Mm -hmm. He knew Lucille Ball. I didn't know that. Okay, so John Wayne. He is not alive anymore, but he would have been 113. So, would have been really old. He was in true grit. Mm -hmm. So he died at the age of 72, but today is his birthday, so we can still celebrate him. Um, anybody remember his nickname? This just always makes me think, I don't know if y'all have watched The Ranch on, mm -hmm. my grandpa liked him too, Patrick. Um, the Ranch on Netflix. He loved John Wayne, and so did my grandpa. Yep, the Duke. That was his nickname. You watch his Western movies, Tommy? I think I've only seen True Grit, but I know he was good. There's probably some old movies at my grandpa's I should go borrow. Okay, so he was nicknamed the Duke. He played, no, oh, there's Phoebe's. She's gonna eat my pillow. <laughs> um, he played a hero in action films and westerns and received an Academy Award for Best Actor in his starring role in True Grit in 1969. Stevie Nicks' birthday, too. Cool. Um, his voice, swagger, and acting style made him a major box office draw for 30 years. In his youth, he was employed... In his youth, he was employed in a local ice cream shop. What a cool job. My other dogs are outside, probably. I can't trust Phoebe to be out there without supervision. Supervision, She starts digging, so she's in here with me. Okay, back to John Wayne. So he worked in an ice cream shop. That just makes him even cooler. He stole the print of his boots from Chinese theater. He's very tall. Didn't know that either. Phoebe. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's digging in the carpet. <laughs> His football scholarship to USC was taken away after he got injured while body surfing. He was born. Reconnecting. Phoebe, come here. Hey. Oh my gosh. Okay. So he was born Marion Robert Morrison. Definitely not John Wayne. And he actually never... And he actually never legally... Buffering. I'm trying not to talk when it's buffering. Okay. Um, oh boy. His divorce with actress Esperanza Barr? Barr? In 19, in her attempting to shoot him. Mm. <laughs> His famous line was little sister. Okay, and then he was married to Pilar Palais from 1954 to 1973. He had a very interesting life. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Lord, OMG. Okay. All right, moving on. 
So this next birthday, much different from John Wayne. Do y'all know who Scott... Oh, wait. Miss Vanessa said John Wayne has an airport named after him in Orange County, California. After Is it John Wayne or is it his real name? <laughs> oh, pinky. John Wayne Airport. Well, that's neat. He has an airport named after him. <laughs> 16 copies of his prints. Wow. Okay. Next birthday. Very different, like I said. Does anyone know who Scott Disick is or what he is from? you watch reality TV, you probably know. No, you're fine. TV's a fan of Scott Disick. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. No one watches Keeping Up with the Kardashians on here. My phone is buffering and I try not to talk when it does that because I know it skips. Your dad watches it, Lauren? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's very entertaining. They are so dramatic. That's why it's entertaining. Well, Scott Disick is on that show. He turns 36 today. She's back to eating my favorite airplane. Okay. Um, he is a reality TV personality and entrepreneur. As part from his assorted business endeavors, he has gained considerable popularity as the boyfriend of reality TV star Kourtney Kardashian. Mm -mm -mm. So he's been on multiple shows, Keeping Up With The Kardashians and Kourtney and Chloe Take Miami. Um, he also has his own show now called Flip It Like Disick or Flip It Like something like that, where he does like house renovations. Chris Jenner is hilarious. See, Lauren knows. He also, okay, wait, let's see. He also enjoys a high reputation for wearing expensive and trendy clothing, apart from choosing his wristwatches very carefully, according to the occasion of the day. He has a watch collection. Oh, it is, well, I don't think they're married, Amber, but that is her kid's dad. Phoebe is now eating my paper airplane out of spite. <laughs> anyway, now he has launched his own fashion brand. Guys, this dog is a demon today. Hey, you can't eat paper. Well, it was short lived, Lauren Air. Ew, Phoebe. Yeah, you're gross. Can't you just lay down? She's being like a toddler today. Their brother is a jerk. Yeah, there's some family drama there, that's for sure, Shara. Okay. All right, the last birthday is Helen Bonham Carter. I don't know, I don't know if that went through but Helen Bonham Carter. Don't know why my internet hates me today. Um, do y'all know who Helen Bonham Carter is? If you don't recognize her name, I bet y'all would recognize her face. Sounds interesting. Yep, she's British. That's why she has a fancy name. <laughs> Phoebe, so I'm glad y'all think Phoebe is funny, Monica. She's thinks she has her own show. Now I don't know what she's eating. <laughs> you know, sometimes I call her a demon, and today she is being a demon. 
No, y'all don't know who that is? She was married to Tim Burton. Something. She's been in a lot of scary movies. Thriller movies. I would show y'all what she looks like, but I don't want to move anything. <laughs> so y'all can look her up. Like, she was in Sweeney Todd. For some reason, that's the only one coming to mind. Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. So she turns 53 today. Um, let's see. She's been in a lot of Tim Burton movies. So she's a British actor who was born into an important political family. Helena is known for her roles in both low-budget independent art films and large-scale blockbusters. Wanting to avoid being typecast, the actor began work with commercially successful but artistically respected filmmakers like Tim Burton. I know y'all have seen some Tim Burton movies, especially you guys that like scary movies. Wanting to, avoid, wanting to avoid being typecast, the actor began working with commercially successful but artistically respected filmmakers like Tim Burton, who went on to become her partner. I just said that twice. But they, I guess they weren't married, but they were dating. Nightmare Before Christmas, yep. Um, that Tim Burton made that. I don't know if she's in that, but that is a Tim Burton movie. Her relationship with Burton helped her personally and professionally. She worked in many of his films, such as Planet of the Apes, Big Fish, Sweeney Todd, and Alice in Wonderland. Apart from these Burton films, she played the Mad Witch Bellatrix in several Harry Potter films. She also played the innkeeper, Madame Denardier? I can't say that. And several Harry Potter, or in several, guys. Madam something something in the big budget musical Les Mis and Miss Mahavisim and Great Expectations. I should really learn to pronounce these things before I get on here. Have is sham. Have a sham. Miss Have a sham. Reading is hard. As an actor, she has proved her versatility playing important roles in several movies of various gen generations. Genres. Genres. The Bloody Red Queen, Edward Scissorhands, yep. Yeah. yeah, if y'all Google her, I bet you know you've seen her before. She's in a lot of things. And she kind of likes weird characters, weird roles. Yep, it's also Stevie Nicks' birthday, I think, or it was yesterday. Do y'all know who Stevie Nicks is? <laughs> well, Amber, a lot of people are weird. She just kind of goes with what she is, and she's made a lot of money doing it, so. Stevie Nicks and Helen Bottom Connor. I don't know. They're both kind of weird. <laughs> yep, Stevie Nicks is a singer. Which I can't play any song because my phone is the camera right now. But y'all would know Stevie Nicks. Can't think of the one song. Let's see. Edge of Seventeen is a popular one. Fleetwood Mac. That's what I couldn't think of. That's the band she sings in. Okay. Phoebe decided to chill out. <laughs> All right. Oh, y'all definitely have heard of Stevie Nicks. You just don't know you have. She was a singer in the 70s. She has a duet with Tom Petty. See where she knows. Okay. Mini. Hmm. Mini bullet. Don't know what that is. All right, y'all ready for some trivia, real quick?
I was born in the 90s and I still know that Stevie Nicks was a singer in the 70s, Amber. It's not an excuse. <laughs> Okay. Y'all are ready. All right. In the TV show Friends, what is Joey Tribbiani's famous line? We may have a friend that likes to say this at my possibilities. So what is Joey Tribbiani's famous line on TV show Friends? Sure, wear my friend's shirt today. Mm -hmm. You watch Friends with Your Brother, Tommy? It's one of my favorite shows. Nope. How you doing? He says. I can't say it right. How you doing? That's what he says. <laughs> Our friend Mark likes to say that too, huh? It's very specifically, wait, it's going to be backwards. I can't show you. <laughs> like this. How? Definitely not grammatically cor correct. Okay. All right. Number two. What is the number one cookie in the United States? Yep, Mark does like to say that. <laughs> so what do y'all think the number one cookie is in the United States? Chocolate chip is close, but it's a brand. It's a brand of cookie, it's not just a type. Not chips ahoy. It's a mostly chocolate cookie. Ooh, David H. Yep. Oreo. It's Milk's favorite cookie. It's apparently America's favorite cookie, too. Do y'all like Oreos? Oreo is definitely one of my favorite. You have 10. Me and my brother love Oreos so much we have to get our own packages and then like hide them from each other because he will eat all of my Oreos and it's not fair. It's very rude. Yep, you got to dip them in milk. Ooh, you like the golden ones, Sarah? I don't mind the like thin ones. The little ones. Okay. Number three. Ooh, Oreo ice cream. <laughs> the coffee hasn't kicked in yet. White fudge Oreo. Oh my gosh. They're like all the kinds. Okay. Then ones are good if y'all haven't tried them. Number three. In the Pixar movie Cars, Lightning McQueen ends up in Radiator Springs and befriends a tow truck. What is that tow truck's name? I'm Milk. That doesn't make any sense, Billy. 
Hi, Elizabeth. What's blue free cookie? I'm gonna have to look that up. That sounds good. Any kind of cookie sounds good, shall we? My son's gone away. Can y'all see me? She was looking out the window. Yep, Mater. Toe Mater. Kind of like tomato. <laughs> Mater was my favorite too. Yep. My cousin has a car's bed right now. It's pretty cool. Looks like Lightning McQueen. Okay. All right, last question. Where do the Mamma Mia movies take place? Larry the Cable Guy does play Tomator. Not Italy, close. Sarah, I had a feeling you would know this one. Greece. Have y'all seen Mamma Mia? You can see how y'all would think Italy, because people like to say Mamma Mia. <laughs> Put their hands like that too. <laughs> yeah. Just once. It's one of my favorite movies, Thomas. Yep, Greece. Makes me want to go to Greece. Should watch it and pretend we're all in Greece today. Did you listen to ABBA this weekend? Nice. Okay. Well, let's see. So we had a couple birthdays. So yesterday was Miss Susan's birthday. Phoebe is looking at me, I can feel it. Oh, now she's licking her foot. Hey, gross. <laughs> um, so Miss Susan Clark's birthday was yesterday, and today is Miss Marissa Myrick's birthday. So happy birthday to them. We have a couple this week too. There's like two tomorrow. Mamma Mia kind of is its own ABBA movie, Lauren. It's all of their music. All right. Y'all ready for the schedule? Okay. Before I do the schedule, I want to make sure that y'all saw my post about next week. So if you go back and see my post with like a weird schedule on it, that's what it's going to look like next week on the new Facebook page. So if you like participating in this, make sure you um, get your parents to email me or say something on that post. It's on the announcement, so it should be at the top. Patrick, you did? Okay. Hi, Bria. I don't know what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I need to go figure that out after this. Okay, well make sure that you um, say that you're interested in that because next week's gonna look a little different. So I wanna make sure that y'all, if you want it, that you have access to it, okay? So go over there and like it or comment on there. If you have any questions, you can email. It's not gonna be on this page, nope. Next next Monday, we'll start a new Facebook page just for MP Online. Cool. Yep, if y'all have questions, y'all can go comment on there. 
because share this is this page was set up for families to talk and share stories so we're going to move our stuff to a different page since it's going to last a little longer than we thought it was so it can have its own page okay the schedule for today so miss kelly has a hip tip at 10 30. then there's going to be a fit tip with olivia at 11. Then at noon, Miss Kelly is going to be doing shadow drawings live, which is really cool. Y'all should come watch that. Um, then at two, there's going to be cleaning crew, um, episode three with Kyle. Then at three, we're going to be taking a walk with Miss Renee. And then I know it's not on the schedule, but Mr. Foster is going to do a devotional at four today. We had to switch it up because of the holiday. And he decided he can do it at four today. So make sure you're here at four looking for that. Let's see. Comments. Yes, Thomas. Part of the reason we're changing it is because um, MP will be opening next week, but not for everybody. So I know y'all see this MP online breaking news video on Wednesday. Make sure you come and watch that because it's going to be me and Miss Renee explaining why everyone can't come back. And I'm going to be showing y'all what the new stuff looks like on MP Online. So lots of changes, but MP Online isn't going anywhere. Besides to a new Facebook. It's just, we're just sprucing it up. Let's see. Oh man, Andrew R. We'll have to try again. Maybe if there's something he's interested in, we can make that happen. So some of these, yeah. Does that make sense, guys? So on the schedule that I posted, the example schedule, there's two. And one of those is all the Zoom stuff. So that means the group classes where you go to Zoom and you can actually talk to each other. So we're still doing all of that. We're just changing it a little bit. Yeah, be flexible. I like that, Amber. We're all kind of having to be flexible right now, right? So that's why I'm starting to tell y'all now. So we have a whole week. Y'all can ask questions and we can talk about it. So it's not a huge surprise, right? Yes. All right, well, if y'all think of any questions, y'all can comment on here, y'all can comment on that other post, and I'll try to keep up with them, okay? Or you can ask me tomorrow. You can write them down. Have your parents email me. All right? All right. Bye, guys. Let's see if I can finish how to figure out how to end this. Okay.